僕を忘れないでほしいなついに帰ってきたぞマーツは In Melee, he didn't have a final smash, but this time he'll deliver a devastating sword blow in a move straight out of Fire Emblem. He'll be made available alongside the revival of Lucas. Roy's back from Super Smash Bros. Melee, and Lucas returns from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Of the many fighters from past versions, I hope fans are happy to have back these two that were particularly popular. Thank you for waiting. Ryu of the Street Fighter series joins the fight. He arrives in Super Smash Bros. seeking powerful opponents. He's being created to most closely resemble his Street Fighter 2 form. In that game, there were six buttons, but Smash focuses on two. Yet somehow, he'll have a wide range of moves at his disposal. Even his low attacks have light, medium, and heavy versions. That's because the move you activate depends on whether you tap the button or press and hold the button. You can use completely different moves from light to heavy by holding the button longer. Rapidly tap the button to chain attacks or hold it longer for a strong attack. This is important when using Ryu. You even have a weak side attack or a strong side attack. You can use familiar Street Fighter moves too. Collarbone Breaker is a great shield breaking move, and Jodan Sokuto Geri is a move from Street Fighter 3. In general, Ryu is geared toward dealing out combo attacks. Some of these combos appear in Street Fighter games, and there are some new ones too. 
and of course, his signature move. You can activate a Hadouken with the press of a button. Remember, you can change the speed of the move by altering how long you press and hold it down. For the Hadouken, we've also accommodated Street Fighter's familiar command inputs. If you enter its original command, the move is a bit stronger. Another type of Hadouken, the Shakunetsu Hadouken, can be activated by entering a Yoga Flame command. There's also the Hurricane Kick. It's hugely destructive, and it can be used for movement too. Now, for the invincible finishing move, the Shoryuken. You can activate a Shoryuken with just one button press, but if you enter the original command input, there's a good chance you will KO your opponent. Try making contact at the start of the animation. If you input the command correctly, the character's voice and effects will change, so trust me, you'll know. His down special move is called a focus attack. It lets you take a hit from your opponent and stun them. Keep pressing the button to increase its power. If you hit the opponent, press forward twice to cancel the animation and dash, then attack. And Ryu has two final smashes. He's the first fighter in Super Smash Bros. history to have that. If you perform his final smash the normal way, it's a Shinku Hadoken. It'll hit surrounding opponents as well. Pull it off next to an opponent, and you'll have the chance to seal the deal. Longer hit stop frames, different hit sound effects, and more. We developed this fighter to highlight his special characteristics. I hope you enjoy playing as him. We're also releasing the new stage, Suzaku Castle. The right side provides stable footing, while the left side has smaller separated platforms. That means your strategy needs to adapt to the side you're on. And when you launch your opponent at close range, you can actually destroy the signs. In Omega form, it looks even closer to the original game. The stage will appear on both Wii U and Nintendo 3DS versions. For the background music, you can select the theme from Ryu's stage in the original game. During battle, the music will switch to a different theme when you near the end of the match. That's also new to the Smash series. I should mention, in the Wii U version, Ken's original stage theme is included, and a remix too. There's even a remix of the theme from Ryu's stage. This one was arranged by Street Fighter II's sound composer, Ms. Yoko Shimomura. Plus, the character's illustration was done by the original character designer, Akiman. We've also included a Ryu trophy and a Ken trophy, too. You can, of course, get these in-game trophies just by playing the game. We put a lot of effort into implementing Ryu into these games. Enjoy!